Ah, yo, welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday, <coughs> baby. Dunk Tip Tuesday, every freaking Tuesday, we're back because it's Tuesday. What is good? Albert Einstein said he's not smart. He just sticks with problems longer. If that's not gangster, I don't know what is. AKA, never give up. That's what today's about, breaking plateaus. I had knee pain that I couldn't get rid of for two years. I gave up, but I didn't give up in my mind. I said, maybe I'll figure it out, but I stopped trying to stretch it. I'll get into it, but that was one plateau. Another one, my vertical plateaued for two to three years, but then last at Dunk Camp 2019, I did 42.5, measured the Vertec, and that was the highest I've ever jumped. So a long plateau there. Then dribble dunks. If you guys have followed my YouTube, I had struggle with that. It took me three years to land one dribble dunk that I was trying to do on a legit 10 foot. And then an East Bay between the legs, even though it was a 9 10 rim, took me about three years. I have a video compilation of me trying for three years. So I know a little bit about plateaus, okay? But the best part about them is what you learn from them. And what I want to really hammer home is it's all about never giving up. I almost forgot the comment yeah! of the week, of course. And by the way, we had freaking Simon Lee. We had Gerald Fambo. Martin. Martin? Sorry. Martin. Back in the day, we had Gregory Saldanha. Here we go. Let's see who we got today. Not the dictionary. Come on. Comment of the week is... Grant... Power, baby. Vertical gains. Rocket, rocket. Let's go. Leave a comment for a chance to win and me yell your name. Who wants to get yelled at? Should we just comment for yells? And It's not just about doing the same thing over and over again. It's having a strong belief, but also understanding that the progress is in the plateau. Everything you do is transforming and... As you're in the plateau, if you're open to finding the solutions and you never give up, that is the formula for achieving anything because you have the reticular activating system in your brain and it filters things out. So if you say to yourself, I'm going to figure it out, I'm going to figure it out, visualize what it feels to figure it out, you will start to see different things. You start to ask your body different things and listen to your body and that's what I mean. If you're not strong enough, if you're not fast enough, start to see what you're doing. Muscle building is a little easier as an analogy. So for example, if you're trying to lift weights, you're not getting stronger. What's happening? Are you lifting the right way? Are you causing the right type of muscle damage? You're causing a stimulus in your body, but if it's not responsible, the way you want, you're not giving it the right stimulus. So that's what you have to learn for yourself. And I have a whole video I can do. I might do it on Ross Edgley's book because it changed my life about how to train correctly. And then with speed, are you pushing yourself 100%? How do you know? Are you tracking your intensity? You can wear something like a whoop. You get a free one in my description if you want to check it out for a free month. Um, I, I'm a huge proponent of it. I've learned so much about my heart rate, my calorie burning, just my energy effort. It's so great to be able to track that. So are you pushing yourself with that intensity? And that leads me to my next point, which is committing to a goal, to a challenge. And I'm not saying jump for four hours every single day for a year and see what that does. And I do think that will be great for you. But like David Goggins, sometimes he goes too far and he hurts his body. Yes, he achieves incredible things, but is that what you want to do? Do you want to achieve 200 mile marathons or do you want to, whatever your goal is, it doesn't matter. But the point is the challenge, the commitment, forces you to see what stories come in your head and see what you can do to eliminate them. And when you do that, you learn so much about yourself and that's when you break to that next level. And the thing is, you don't have to commit to a goal that is pushing you above your limits physically. It could be committing to rest. One huge challenge for myself for the for the jumper's knee was I had to commit to not jumping until I was healed. And that is just as hard. It's not as hard physically, it doesn't hurt, but the commitment, the stories, the doubts, the fears, it sucks. So the commitments can show you things. So I really highly recommend you commit to something, whether it's a workout, and you'll see like, if you say, I'm gonna commit to a workout to do this twice a week for six months, do it with a long time, do it for enough time where you understand it will give you enough data where you can learn about yourself and your mental patterns and things like that. But 
not enough time where you're going to burn out and really hurt yourself. That's the balance right there. But there is something to challenging yourself past your physical limit so you could learn about yourself. So that is Dunk Tip Tuesday. Basically pure fuel. Push yourself. And I just watched Crow's, Crowha's video and it's incredible. I highly recommend you check it out. He is pushing himself and he says in his video he will do it at any cost. And that's what I want to ask you. At what cost are you willing to achieve your goals? Is that famous video is you will achieve what you want when you want it as bad as you can breathe. So in conclusion, the plateaus are the prize. That's where you learn. And in my podcast on Monday Morning Mindset Monday, I did the struggle is progress. The longer, the harder the struggle, the more progress, the more transformative it is on you as a person. Commit to something, challenge yourself, start to be aware of those thoughts, start to conquer them. Do it for freaking Einstein. Let's go! Who wants to get yelled at? Should we just comment for yells? Ah, let's go! The Dunk Project, baby. A live coaching community with me for any athlete that wants to get their bounce up, strength, speed, and of course, technique. So I'm gonna be watching your form, I'm gonna be watching your workouts, making sure you do it perfect. And on top of that, we're gonna be working on everything outside of the dunk training. The mindset, the nutrition, the rehab, the prehab, the energy, let's go. At only 5'10", I've increased my vertical over 12 inches. I wanna help you do the same, and this is where it happens. Let's go. What the fuck are you waiting for? <laughs>